Welcome back. We are here in November 2023 in the great state of New Hampshire hosting our next Flight Club video. Today we actually got our first snowfall and we had about an inch on our cars when we were getting out, getting ready to go to work. Bring out those snow brushes because that storm is coming your way. Nonetheless, we have a fair amount to talk about in this intro and followed by, of course, discussing this month's chocolates. So as you can see, we kind of have a pretty clean, open set here. There's not really anything other than yours truly and my trusty microphone. Reason being, this will be our final Flight Club video filmed in this format. We've been doing these videos since September 2021, and they have been great. We've grown quite a bit since that time, and believe it or not, we we're actually busting at the seams with physical available space. So this space will no longer be available to film, and I've also been kind of coming up with a strategy of a new Flight Club format, which begins in December. Really looking forward to this next format, and I bet you will be too, because it will be much more engaging, intriguing, and you are just going to absolutely love what we have in store. Now to jump into this month's chocolate, what we're really here for. First up is a brand new chocolate coming from Gillian out of Belgium, right up in here. We have featured their classic original praline chocolate seashells, and they have released a new dark chocolate, 72% cocoa content seashell. Here we are, and isn't this divine? If you can see it without the glare, I hope you can get the visual. But if you are a member, you'll be looking at what you have in your Flight Club package. The filling is a fine hazelnut praline, but the exterior is a 72% bittersweet chocolate. And oh man, must I say these things are divine. I'm kind of a, almost upset in a way that we brought these in because I cannot stop eating them. I, like, it's actually insane almost every day. <laughs> I'll have one of these and I am proud to admit that. So, you know, once you have your first taste, you know, I would not be surprised if you are shopping for more. These do come in a 20 piece larger box as well, but this is the 10 piece and there are 10 seashells and seahorses, of course. This is a flavor you will not forget, and we really don't have anything like it. Most of our praline boxes kind of have milk or white chocolate or a combination of the two on the exterior for an ultra sweet treat. This one has a perfect balance of that bittersweet chocolate combined with the fine sweet hazelnut praline on the interior. We also have a quick launch video from Jillian. When I say quick, I mean like that quick. And I actually just ran to that wall and came back. Um, but let's take a quick look, watch their launch, and you know, get enveloped in their marketing and branding. Dark praline from in-house roasted hazelnuts, covered with 72% cocoa. Gillian, intensely irresistible. Again, that was quick, but um, kind of like me touching my nose, you missed it. Anyway, this is a phenomenal chocolate, especially for the gifting season, and this seafoam green packaging is just really icing on the cake. Moving on to our next tasting, we will be looking at another Jillian product. Next up, we have their milk chocolate bar with salted caramel, and this is another absolute home run. This bar has little pieces of salted caramel infused in a rich and decadent 30% Belgian milk chocolate. Again, if you missed me pointing at this map for the past two years as to where Belgium is, it's still <laughs> north of France. But this chocolate actually has four mini bars in kind of wrapped, individually wrapped within here. So for all of those who have no self-control, this is the perfect chocolate bar for you. This has four individually wrapped chocolates in here. They're all 25 grams for a perfect snacking size. Grab on the go. 
don't leave it in your pocket or else it'll melt. We all know that. This is just an absolutely decadent and rich milk chocolate. You know, could you ask for more than Belgian milk chocolate? Yes, you can ask for Belgian milk chocolate with salted caramel pieces. And this will be a new mainstay in your pantry. We also have a great video coming from Jillian, which portrays how their chocolates are made from bean to bar. It kind of has some great shots of their facility as well as the packaging process that it undergoes. And it just gives you a good representation of what it takes to actually craft this chocolate. Pretty great content and even better people to be working with. Plus, they have their coveted seahorse logo icon on all of these chocolate bars they're producing. Phenomenal work from top to bottom from Jillian. So now that we have covered our two Jillian chocolates, we'll be moving on to our next tasting. So our next Flight Club chocolate is actually going to be coming from Turin, Italy. So if you don't know where this giant boot looking country is, it's right here and that is where these chocolates are coming from. We have for you a 250 gram chocolate Cialdine assortment here. This is coming from Guido Gabino, which is an absolutely phenomenal chocolate and Gianduja maker. We'll touch a little about the Gianduja in a minute. But first, let's go over these chocolates. So this will be an assorted Cialdine selection, which is Guido Gabino's term for a basically a chocolate disc. You know, some folks call them Napolitan, some call them just plain old chocolate squares, although a circle's not a square. So this could not be a square. Anyway, so this is kind of an assorted dark chocolate selection with varying cocoa percentages of different dark chocolates. The lightest option in here is a 63% blend, which kind of has some floral notes. You may also find a 70% extra bitter blend, which has almost notes of leather and tobacco. And of course we can't forget about the extra bitter 75%, which has more of a red fruit flavor profile to it. There may be some lucky subscribers who get some of the Madagascar 72%, the Indonesia 80%, and the Venezuela 85%. Um, we've been using these a lot in tastings and pairings, especially wine pairings lately. We've been hosting some events and co-hosting, but we have a bunch of new Guido Gabino products coming inbound later this month or early December, kind of still waiting on the ETA, but stay tuned because we have a lot of great new chocolates and Gianduja products coming from Guido Gabino. A bit about Gianduja to cover briefly. This is kind of a homogenous blend of hazelnuts, cocoa, and sugar. It actually came to be back in the conquering days of Napoleon Bonaparte. At that time, there was kind of a lack of cocoa supply and what makers were doing is they were cutting them essentially with hazelnuts so it wasn't fully cocoa and at the time it was to drive the cost down. That became a sought out confection of its own, the Gianduja, and it is absolutely incredible and also Guido Gabino's specialty. We have covered and included Gianduja in previous month's Flight Club packages, but there may be some new options coming inbound with our next order. Guess who's gonna to get to try it first? You, our subscribers, of course. We also do have a good clip coming from Guido Gabino, which covers some of their Gianduja and chocolate making process. You will see a lot of hazelnuts in this video. I will give you a fair warning. They are not included in the Flight Club package, unfortunately, but they will be in a early 2024 Flight Club package, and I can't believe I'm already talking about 2024. We need to get through the holidays first.
These CLDs are exceptional for table toppers, putting out in bowls, just snacking on. They're about five grams per piece, which is the optimal tasting size. You might even want to snap them in half, you know, listen to the snap, smell the aromas with each varying cocoa percent, taste and let it envelop your palate. That is kind of the general practice. And that just about covers our Guido Gabino assorted sealed in selection, and we're on to our next tasting. Last, but certainly not least, this month, we have another brand new product that I am thrilled that we can include in this month's Flight Club package. Coming out of Switzerland, some say the best milk in the world comes from Switzerland. The Irish will say otherwise. They'll say we have greener grass. It rains more here, so our cows are better fed. I'm Irish, I think Swiss milk is better. Don't tell my ancestors. Anyway, this is their brand new collaboration with, you guessed it, Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels is a fine whiskey and spirit maker based in Tennessee, of course. The only 10 I see is this bar. And this is a 37% Swiss milk chocolate with a Tennessee Fire, which is basically a cinnamon-infused whiskey liqueur center. So in this bar, you'll find little pieces that have a liquid syrup filling, of which is a liqueur, the cinnamon whiskey coming from Jack Daniels. It does have a nice little cinnamon spice kick to it, so it'll definitely put some hair on your chest when you have a little bite, but not too much, only like, huh, there's a little knob. This is coming from a family of other liquor-infused chocolates from Gold Can. You will find available the standard Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey, their Tennessee Honey Whiskey, there is a Remy Martin Cognac, infused bar, the botanist gin infused bar, and one last option is the Captain Morgan infused bar. I adore all of these chocolates and the liqueur syrup center really puts them on that next level. I do suggest honestly trying the entire family of products. It is a consistent milk chocolate around all of this product line but the liquid interiors are really what brings these together, especially around the holidays. You give anyone this, they are gonna fall in love with you. So, you know, well, maybe not everyone, but you know, if someone's on the wagon, don't give it to that person. But anyone else who would love to try this out, and the feedback we get is out of this world. And that just about wraps up our first generation of in-flight entertainment. I want to say a massive thank you to all of you who have stayed subscribed from the get-go and you are out there. So you're the real winners in all this because you get all this chocolate every month at honestly what is a great price delivered. Like look online for other options. It's crazy um, what other people are offering packages at and ours are even better. Like, plus they don't come with video content. Like come on. Either way, I'm thrilled to have finished this phase out and all eyes on the next generation of Flight Club. You are going to absolutely love it. If time permits, I'll also be putting out more reels and shorts from these Flight Club videos. You will have first access as subscribers and they won't be publicized until a month after that Flight Club publishes. So you have a full month of dedicated private content that other non-subscribers cannot view. Thank you again and stay tuned for next month because it's going to be bonkers, just like Baru's Bonkers Bars, but this is just going to be phenomenal. So I'm excited. I hope you are too. Feel free to reach out with any questions at any time and I'll be available to chat and well, maybe not any time, but most times I can fit someone in. Anyway, thank you again for your support and patronage and we will see you soon in our next generation. But as always, eat, sleep, breathe, chocolate. Cheers.